I'm Pam Stranahan. I'm currently president of the Friends of History Center. And today we're looking at the Brock home. This Brock house was built as early as 1898 by Adolf and Gertrude Brock. The Brock family was very important in Rockport and many of the descendants still live here and are involved in businesses. Victor Brock was the first of the Brocks to come to Texas in the 1840s. Later, he came to Rockport and actually served as port postmaster here. His children, his three sons, were Leopold, Roland, and Adolf, Adolf being the youngest. This home has some unique features. It's a prairie-style home with a low-pitched roof. It's two stories with a one-story porch wrapping around the south and east sides. The porch is supported by Doric columns. The front is asymmetrical with a porch on the south and a large bay window on the north. The wood Detailing and molding is unique. The balustrade around the porch is vertical pairs with diamond cutouts. And the walls have flap siding, as do the dormer windows. There are 10 dormer windows on the second story. On the first story, there are five exterior doors and 24 windows. first owner of the house, Adolf, uh, joined his brothers, his older brothers, uh, in the Brock Brothers Grocery in the late 1800s. Then he established his own wholesale and retail grocery business, one of many businesses that he had. For a number of years, he shipped vegetables raised by growers in the area. And in 1929, he managed the San Benito Vegetable Growers Association and the Rio Hondo Association. At that time, he moved to the valley for several years. He returned home again and established a retail grocery business, which he carried on until he retired in 1947. Brock sold his property in 1948 to C.D. and Hazel Prophet. The Prophets um, actually lived in South America where he was in the oil business. So they uh, were not in residence for very, very often. Then the Prophets deeded their home to their daughter, Daisy Prophet McLester, in 1959. Later, the property was leased to the ABC Learning Center, and for 12 years, from 1980 to 1992, this served as the Learning Center. In 1993, the property was bought by Janet and Sarah Lynn Taylor.